The focus is on Moses Anthony Davis, the king of the dance hall, Beanie Man, the doctor. Moses Davis is widely recognized as one of the greatest and the most internationally acclaimed dancehall artists of all times. This one is strictly an original and it focuses on the life and music of Mr. Moses Davis, aka Beanie Man. Watch this video from start to finish. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Beanie Man is known as the doctor, the girls them sugar, and the king of the dancehall. Beanie has released a vast collection of reggae and dancehall music. Jamaica's King of the Dance Hall started performing at age five and won the Tasty Talent Contest in 1981. His first album was titled The Invincible Beanie Man, the 10-year-old DJ Wonder. For many years, he developed his musical style and craft at the Shocking Vibe Studio. Beanie Man's music consistently receives airplay in Jamaica and he has had many collaborations with local and international artists. He also receives airplay on international platforms as well. His presence remains ubiquitous as his legend continues to soar. Biedemann has had many local and international collaborations. International collaborations include Janet Jackson, Wycliffe John, Maya, Angie Martinez, T.I., and Lil' Kim. Legendary Beanie Man, Jamaica's King of the Dance Hall, is from Waterhouse, Kingston. He was born on August 22, 1973. Beanie Man is a Jamaican reggae and dance hall DJ. He's also a record producer and an actor. He has been on the dancehall scene for 42 years. He has appeared in Dancehall Queen and has co-produced the film Kingston. Beanie Man had his first number one single in Jamaica in 1993 with Métis and won the DJ of the Year award that same year. And later he go on to win seven other consecutive awards for DJ of the Year in Jamaica. Later, he was signed to Island Records and released many critically acclaimed albums, including Blessed. In Jamaica, Beanie Man and Bounty Killer are considered to be nemesis. Many persons on the international music scene also have a similar view because both artists have been in a myriad of clashes on major stage shows and have also engaged constantly over the years in many lyrical battles. Despite the many on stage clashes and lyrical battles, Bounty Killer and Beanie Man have remained as friends and have an excellent relationship. In May 2020, they gave the world a phenomenal performance online. They had viewership of 407,000 persons tuning in to watch their clash. Beanie Man released Many Moods of Moses and this album was an autobiographical one and it also received a Grammy nomination. In the year 2000, Beanie Man received the Grammy for Best Reggae Album for Art and Life. He is also the recipient of numerous international music awards, including the MOBA Award for Best International Reggae Act in 1998. Beanie Man has also been very consistent, remaining at the top of all local charts over the years. His contribution to dance hall must be recognized and applauded. And in 2009, he was officially recognized 
and crowned at Reggae Song Fest as the king of the dance hall. Popular songs by Beanie Man include Girls Dem Sugar, King of the Dance Hall, Who Am I, or Sim Simmer, and I'm Drinking Rum and Red Bull. Yes, that one is a favorite among many Jamaicans, and I'm sure the artist has a huge and a vast collection of works, musical works, that will keep a generation entertained for a very long time. Now he continues to do music and he has many new releases that will be coming out this year. There are collaborations in the work and we are actually awaiting audio and musical videos from his upcoming songs. He has also put out new music in 2020 with various singers and we are expecting to partake in those music as well like comment share and subscribe leave your comments down below and let us know what your views are on the doctor the legendary beanie man and his achievements and many accolades that he has attained over the years we have a clipping of the legendary beanie man and bounty killer that will be coming up it's an exclusive it's an exclusive video from on stage tv Watch the video from start to finish and leave your comments below in regards to the doctor and anything else that you have to say about Jamaica. Oh, I got about the oh. it's a party. On our stage this week, the two recount their transition from bitter rivals to what seems to be now friends for life and according to the warlord, from war to power. <laughs> You know, we caught up with the two just after their legendary performance at Reggae Sum Fest last year. Because we used to do this with a lot of tension and a lot of ego when we was rival. It was not friendly yeah. in our early stage. It was really musical battle. Regardless, sir. How about to go, who the will him gonna frighten me? Yeah. You see it? So, me know that. He's just a way to take me to the higher part of the music when we do want to reach. He never had anything personal in it. It was just musical ego. We want to prove who really musically bad. Yeah. Me and Beanie wasn't too personal. We want to prove if we are a bad boy. We want to prove if we are bad artists. <laughs> Personal, it was musical. When me and Beanie clashed 93, we never get paid to clash. Beanie was out there just doing him show. Yes. And then the people them start calling my name. And I'm running now, Beanie on the stage and they call in my name. And it's the first I've ever heard 20,000 people saying, Bounty, 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 me frightened, me excited. I can't lose this moment. 20,000 people saying, Bounty, where them know me from? <laughs> me never know so many people know me. <laughs> Listen me, give me a mic, learn. Tell him, come off, no. And you know, being in that, coming off. And you know, me want the hype there. 20,000 just say, Bounty, me have to run out. <laughs> Me now make them quiet. <laughs> me run out from Bini. Yeah. Me even know how to clash. I first me a clash a DJ on stage. Me just know say them call my name and me a go out there and Bini not coming off me. I've got clash him then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in up a clash. <laughs> okay. But we never get paid for clash. You never know we have a clash. Cause yeah. we have two separate slots. And never slated that Bounty and Bini have got clash. Cause you know Sting always advertise them clash. Mm -hmm. We never have no clash on their show there. It was just a plain Sting. Bad artists and bad artists. I um, mean, just run out from being as a people that I want class start. So I bring me through the clash, then I take on the girls, them, then we go international. Then when we fall back, we fall back at Jamaica, I see my girl like him want chat, chat, chat. I just got a boop and show back to word and, and thing. And then, so, him kind of build me, 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 me thing in the dance hall. Seeing like the rag I'm off inside, I mean, okay. yeah. It pulled it because it's clashing. In yeah, man. To respond to him. Yeah, you have you had to go. Yeah, man, I forgot you. Ragamuffin. Bad boy. Yeah, bad boy. Ragamuffin. Yeah, hundred percent. See it. Yeah, at but I am the girls. I'm sugar. Yeah. In the same at time. At the same time. Yeah. You were able to, <laughs> to maintain it. Yeah, yeah. Did you have to say to fans, 
It is not personal. It is not, it is not violent. Yeah, we had to do that because they used to have this rivalry in Kingston 20. Because Bean used to go to Prembokal Primary and I used to go to Edith Dalton Primary. So there was a little rivalry called Bean School and Bounty School. And then they, they say it spread all over the island. I don't know if it was true. I never have no proof, but management say you have to go on the TV and show them that Ian Beanie is not really had conflict. Photo the man where he said me and Beanie hug up when me and I felt that in our <laughs> early days. And we never had no problem to go do it because we really never had anything personal. Well, I can tell you that it was true. It was spreading. I went to South Africa. Yeah, I heard. Me and Rupert. And I never doubt it. And, I never, I'm and no proof, but South I never Africa, doubt it. In South Africa, there were Beanie fans and Bounty fans. So it was serious. It was spreading across the island. Yeah. And that's why I ask you a question about whether you had to say to youths, do not take it seriously, it's just musical. I hope you enjoyed the video with Beanie and Bounty Killer. And I also hope you enjoyed the overview of the life and the music of Jamaica's Dancehall King. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let us know what else you'd like us to discuss about the entertainment scene in Jamaica. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.